Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Let's do the news roundup for the week ending November 14th, 2020. Stock is down on the week, finishing at 408.50. For the week, which started quite strong, it is down 7.03%, $30.87 a share. NASDAQ Composite is also down, not nearly as much, a little under 2%. There hasn't really been any news that would affect the stock negatively. Everything has been pretty rosy, but sometimes it just goes down. Getting into the news. Elon Musk may have the row row. Something extremely bogus is going on. It was tested for it four times today. Two came back negative, two came back positive. Same machine, same test, same nurse. Now, it is possible he has it. It is possible he doesn't. We would know probably by the time you're watching this, so I guess, I don't know, Google it. But this is as much an indictment on the quality of the tests as it is anything else. Wouldn't read too much into it until we get news, but fingers crossed, hoping for the best. Tesla tweeted out, announcing 20,000 superchargers and counting. Now that is including all individual stalls, not just entire stations. It is a great start. And while that hails in comparison to the number of petrol stations around the world, gasoline for my American cousins, and I do mean cousins because I'm American, so I, I don't even know why I said that, but here we are. It doesn't include the number of chargers people have at their homes, which is where most EV owners charge most of the time. Still, 20,000 and counting, not too shabby. Tesla is now the number one most attractive company for engineering students, and that's a massive advantage. So apparently they do this survey every year, and Tesla has taken the number one spot in the rankings for engineering students to work for in the US. Their global rankings are much lower. And for fun, number two is last year's number one. It is SpaceX. So awesome job, Elon. I didn't see boring company on the list, and that surprises no one. Tesla Giga Shanghai Model Y production starts by end of month to target 5,000 weekly production in 2021. And here is, I showed this last week, the Model Y in testing. All that camouflage can't hide them thick curves, baby. Also out of Shanghai, Tesla Giga Shanghai plans to produce 550,000 units in 2021, 100,000 for export. This is a bit misleading. They intend to hit a run rate of 550,000 units, not move a total of 550,000. There will be a ramp period for the Model Y, although Tesla Model 3, in this section over here, is already going a gangbusters. And pretty much any time you look at the factory footage, you will see the lot is very full and cars are always moving out. Electric is reporting Elon Musk's 25 guns, a 25-person Tesla engineering task force to fix Gigafactory Berlin. Now, there isn't something exactly wrong with Gigafactory Berlin. It's more the point that there is a 25-person engineering task force designed to come up with innovative solutions and on-the-fly fixes for little problems. Gigafactory Berlin will be using a new paint shop, new production methods, and larger castings than have currently been used, at least in the front half of the Model 3. There are a lot of ramp challenges associated with changes of this magnitude. Many of them are things that have not been done in auto manufacturing before, and this task force is designed to address all these problems as they arise. Also news from Gigafactory Berlin, the site location had previously been what appeared to be a forest, but was actually a tree farm. The Wood was used to create paper products. It was a low quality monoculture grove of trees. And when it was cleared, environmental concerns were raised that this would not help with the situation regarding biodiversity and carbon capture. They announced that they were going to plant three times as many trees as they cut down, and it has now been done. This map represents areas where the trees have been planted of a sustainable, diverse forest, and the reforestation efforts are complete. They're scattered out because there are no contiguous areas in the greater Berlin area where they could plant all of them together. So really, this is good for diversity overall. Electric has reported that Tesla has hired the head of the Mercedes-Benz factory, and he's gonna run the place. 
While Mercedes-Benz is contracting in Germany, we know Tesla is expanding. This is only, from what we understand, phase one of a potential four phases of the, proje of the project, which would span out into additional areas, all this they own. And the local union behind the Daimler factory is getting weirdly mad about it. Well, come on guys, it's time for innovation. Let's do it. In Texas, Tesla has submitted filings for battery cell production at their new location. This is not a big surprise. It had been rumored for a long time that battery production would be taking place in Texas. It was confirmed, I believe, on battery day. What's more surprising is that Tesla Rati uses all this ridiculous clickbait. Oh my gosh, Alex Trebek's net worth left his family in tears? Uh, Tasmanian is reporting that the Tesla Giga Shanghai plant produced about 20,000 vehicles in October, posting 7% month-over-month sales growth in China. For anyone who's been following the news or this channel, this should not come as a surprise, but 20,000 units a month. It was not that long ago that Tesla themselves were not making 20,000 vehicles a year, let alone a quarter, let alone a month, let alone from one plant. And it doesn't even include Model Y production, which is only beginning this month. Tesla Rati is reporting that Giga Shanghai's Model 3 production run rate is already hitting 91% of their ambitious 2021 targets. This is just exciting. It's just exciting. Exclusive! Indonesia to woo Tesla investment in push to become battery superpower. We know Tesla has allocated $8 billion in coming years to create uh, additional battery factories because batteries are the bottleneck and have been for a very long time. So this is great. Indonesia has a large supply of nickel, perhaps according to them, the largest supply of nickel, uh, the largest reserves of nickel in the world. And they've got motivation to create jobs and factories within the country and have relaxed certain regulations and laws in order to encourage investment within Indonesia. Tesla is entering the energy storage market in Israel, seeking power plant construction and megapack supply deals. Israel has quite a problem with intermittent power. There is no hydro. Uh, wind and solar are not ideal, and they don't have really hills. The key to renewable energy implementation is grid-scale storage to negate or at least reduce the necessity of peaker plants, which operate at vastly higher costs than traditional power plants and even higher than megapack installation. Volkswagen unveils $86 billion electrification plan. I'm not going to go into too many details on this, but $86 billion is substantial and, by all measures, quite enough to get the job done. While it can't necessarily offset the lack of engineering talent, especially in software, it can go a long way, man. It can go a long way. Forbes has this hysterical article this week. Tesla valuation tops seven automakers combined, but they're not a real car company, says Toyota president. I mean, I mean, what? He said that Essentially, Toyota is a real car company because they really make cars and they really do make a lot of them and they have a long legacy of making pretty fantastic cars and that their approach is the right approach, even though it's mostly hybrids. Many EV fans consider hybrids to be a stopgap measure because it has all the complexity of an in internal combustion engine and all the complexity of a battery electric vehicle. Why double it up, guys? Just make the leap already. And while the stock value is not necessarily indicative of the company's value in terms of actual production, it shows that there's an awful lot of faith in Tesla and other electric makers to actually do something big. Norway has announced their first Model 3 police vehicle. And as you can see here, na rickard it it Tesla. Uh, and you can log in Provna for one, which I will not do on account of my inability to read Norwegian. Tesla's RNA vaccine printer for CureVac is going to be an important product for the world. Show of hands, how many of you didn't know that Tesla makes advanced biomedical equipment? 
I, I guess I kind of knew, but I forgot. It's very strange. It's a revolutionary product. If this was a startup, it's one I might invest in. Certainly a little bit of money, if not a lot, but something. And this just goes to show how diverse Tesla actually is and how many paths it has to 10xing the stock value once again. Quick reminder, I am not a stock market investment guy, and you should not take anything I say to be investment advice, do your own research. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just exciting. Tesla's FSD beta continues impressive operation with nighttime driving montage. <laughs> Again, this, the clickbait, guys, you're killing me. So it's kind of fun to look at. I'm playing it at a higher speed here. All this FSD footage is, it's frankly exciting. And the car does well in a lot of environments where critics thought it probably wouldn't. And it also doesn't do great in a lot of places. Fans were just sure that it would. It's clearly still got quite a ways to go. I don't know how soon full FSD is going to be rolled out, but my guess is it will not happen in 2021. I am also not, uh, not qualified to speak on that, but, you know, there you go. So I want to give a big shout out here at the end to my new subscribers. I'm apparently at 144. That's amazing. The last time I announced it, I think I was at 57. I've only been doing this a couple weeks. So thank you guys so much for the faith that you're showing in me and the encouragement to keep going. So with that, let's just call it a day. Let me know if there's anything about the news I missed or misunderstood in the comments below. And let's have a conversation. There's a lot here and a lot to unpack. And if there's anything you need me to cover next week, let's do that too. I miss you guys. Stay in touch.